Ladies and gentlemen, it is a pleasure for me to address this global forum on disarmament and non-proliferation education. I commend the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Japan and the United Nations University for organizing this timely event. It is highly appropriate that this forum should take place in Nagasaki, site of one of the two terrible nuclear catastrophes of 1945. In August 2010, I had the honor of attending the commemoration ceremonies in Nagasaki. On that occasion, I made my personal commitment to pursue actively the IAEA's efforts to help achieve a world free of nuclear weapons. The IAEA's expertise in safeguards can be useful in implementing nuclear disarmament. Our non-proliferation work is essential to prevent the spread of nuclear weapons. And our nuclear security activities can prevent nuclear and other radioactive material from falling into the hands of terrorists. As a human being, and particularly as a citizen of the only country ever to experience the unspeakable horror of the use of nuclear bombs, I believe with all my heart and soul that these terrible weapons must be eliminated. The generation that experienced the events of 67 years ago is growing old. Several new generations have grown up since then. I commend your efforts to educate the people of the world about how devastating nuclear weapons are and build awareness of the importance of nuclear disarmament and non-proliferation. I was a member of the group of governmental experts which drafted the United Nations study on disarmament and non-proliferation education in 2002. That experience has been very helpful to me as I work to promote nuclear non-proliferation education in the IAEA. Nuclear non-proliferation is a knowledge-intensive area. It requires detailed and rigorous scientific and technical expertise. My colleagues and I regularly give speeches on nuclear non-proliferation throughout the world. We organize briefings at our headquarters in Vienna for members of parliament, government officials, think tanks, academics, and other groups. We hold outreach events to promote the conclusion of IAEA safeguards agreements and additional protocols. We host periodic educational events for NGOs, diplomats, and journalists on the IAEA's activities in non-proliferation and other areas. A milestone in the IAEA's efforts in the field of education was achieved with the establishment of the Nuclear Law Institute in 2011. The Institute offers an annual intensive training session for lawyers and covers numerous areas of nuclear law, including laws and regulations related to non-proliferation. The IAEA provides educational and training materials, publications, videos, and newsletters, and much information is available to the widest possible audience on our public website. The IAEA also provides opportunities for on-the-job training to young professionals, graduates, and undergraduate students. I invite my younger listeners to take advantage of a junior professional officer or JPO program. Our internships and the IAEA fellowship program are for young professional women so they can gain practical work experience. 
A safeguards traineeship program is also organized periodically for young graduates and junior professionals from developing countries. Ladies and gentlemen, the threat of nuclear terrorism is real and requires increased vigilance and collective action. Nuclear and other radioactive materials must not be allowed to fall into the hands of terrorists. Real progress is being made throughout the world in keeping nuclear and radioactive material secure, but much remains to be done. In order to strengthen nuclear security, we need to collect information, analyze it, educate people, and provide assistance to our member states. The IAEA maintains the most authoritative global database on incidents of illicit trafficking and other criminal or unauthorized activities involving nuclear and radioactive materials. Incidents range from illegal possession, attempted sale, and smuggling to unauthorized disposal of these materials and recoveries of radioactive sources. We receive a report of such an incident on average every two days. We play an important role in providing assistance and training to help countries guard against possible nuclear terrorism, whether at major public events, border crossings, or at nuclear facilities themselves. The IAEA also addresses this relatively new challenge to international security through its education activities. We have established partnerships with universities and research institutions to develop nuclear security education programs and curricula and are involved in training trainers and instructors. In 2010, we launched the International Nuclear Security Education Network, or INSEN, to promote excellence in nuclear security education. I welcome the participation of the University of Tokyo and its research center in INSEN. Ladies and gentlemen, in a joint working paper submitted to the NPT Review Conference in 2010, Japan and the United Nations universities said, I quote, it is crucial to provide adequate knowledge of the immense destructive power of nuclear weapons and to increase awareness and understanding of the dangers of their proliferation, end of quote. The IAEA will continue to further strengthen its efforts in this area. I thank the organizers once again for their initiative, and I wish you every success with the forum.